You better hear. You better hear. When my students started coming back from their interviews with you at university, I found out that a lot of the girls were getting, being asked, are you an Essex? Mm. Oh, so I see you're an Essex girl, um, which mm. always puts them on the back foot because they either go, well, yes, I am, actually, um, <laughs> and laugh, thereby confirming it, or they go, actually, I find that stereotype offensive, and the interviewer just goes, oh, I've got the right one here, or, you know, <laughs> uh, combative or whatever. Um, and I just thought, it's ridiculous, we need to start changing it, we need to start um, challenging this stereotype. Because I'd been brought up here, obviously, in the mm. 80s, when it had been in its um, heyday, I guess mm -hmm. you'd say. And then coming back, I was just amazed when they started coming back, because I was thinking, really, is it still going on? Mm. Um, so I started writing articles here, about in Level 4, about why is there... Why, why is it Essex? Why is it Essex? Because if you go out on the streets, like Newcastle, Cardiff, mm. Liverpool, mm. you've got that kind of stereotyped look. A lot mm. of the girls celebrate themselves with blonde hair and you know, high heels and skirts and loads of makeup. It's not unique to Essex. Mm. So I started analysing why we were, we were getting, why we had the label. And at the same time, I was also researching, I, I was writing and researching my first, what was to become my first book, The Drowning Pool, um, where I looked at a local sea witch called uh, Sarah Moore mm -hmm. and looked into the truth of her story. And I was also, yes, looking at Matthew Hopkins. I'm just looking at this date, actually. It's April 2010. I must have been thinking about writing it then. Mm. Um, and whilst I was in, in, doing all of this research, I found out that um, when, I, when I looked at the characteristics of the Essex women who had been accused of witchcraft, and there were, there were a lot, there was more than any other county that we are aware of mm -hmm. um, but obviously we have uh, we've got a really good records office as well other mm -hmm. places haven't mm -hmm. got a thorough um, records so there may be more cases in other places but we don't know but mm -hmm. we have got lots hundreds more mm -hmm. cases than uh, most other counties and as I started to research them and look at the different witch trials and look at the testimony and look at the ages as well, and the women, I started to realize that there were um, mm. characteristics that they shared with the stereotype.